Bad Love with Pat's Two Cents, and we are back with a few quick testimonies. I was at work, I was getting out of my truck, and I had a thought that came to my head. It was a negative thought, and it was like, you should just quit. You should just leave now. This ain't working out. And as soon as I had that, at the same time I got it, I, I turned around and on the back of a, a car, that some people put stickers on it, right? And stuff, right? As soon as I turned around, it was in a bold pink letter. It said, "Never quit." Wow. Yeah. As soon as I got out my truck, had that thought, negative emotional thought, turned around, and it was on the back of my a car. It said, "Never quit." Yes. Yes. And so today, Pat was talking about how we need to. Basically, turn from sin, turn from that stuff that's been, you know, making us, you know, wreaking havoc, wrecking our life and, and, you know, making us miserable. And, you know, on Sunday, I got out of my bed to pray. The morning I woke up, I got, so I got out of my bed and I would say a prayer. And I went to say my prayer and I was about to ask God for deliverance and I stopped and I remembered. Let me just ask him what he want me to do. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, and I got a Bible verse in my mind. It was uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 12. And God was telling me, he was telling me to not allow sin to reign over my mortal body. Mm -hmm. He was telling me not to allow sin to reign over my mortal body. And that same day, I was watching a YouTube video, a Sid Roth video. And there was a lady share her testimony on how she encountered danger in the middle of the forest. And she, it, that danger was a, a wild animal, which was a, um, a, a mountain lion. Mm -hmm. And this mountain lion, to her, when she looked in this mountain lion's eyes, it was ready to attack. It was ready to kill it. Wow. But she also got the feeling that this mountain lion represented the spirit of sin. Mm. And the spirit was telling her that she knew this, that it, that this day that you saw me, this is the first time you saw my face. All of the other years, you never, you never recognized, you never saw my face, but to this day, you have seen my face. You've seen me. And you know, you wanted to believe that I didn't exist. But you know that I do exist, and you know I stalk you. You know I'm always around. And God God had, you know, prior to her encountering that in the forest, encountering that wild animal, she also came across a set of, of antlers, deer antlers that were shedded. And from what she said, deer antlers, they don't, it's very rare that you come across those ant like antlers just in the middle in the middle of the forest. And she had both of them. She found both of them in the Jeep. She used those two antlers. She because you know when she encountered that wild animal, God also was speaking to her at the same time, and He was telling her to fight, to fight, to fight. He just yelled that in, in her spirit, and she went and she picked the ant she picked the antlers. She had the antlers up, ready to plow it straight into the into the um into the wild animal into the mountain lion mm -hmm. and the mountain lion dodged it and ran off mm. at first they both exchanged you know glances glances and trying to you know intimidate each other mm -hmm. she couldn't intimidate it and then it could intimidate her until she went and tried to attack it mm -hmm. see god wanted her to attack it it's not just about intimidating it you know with a, a couple of scriptures here and there God is telling us to drive out sin, to drive out sin out of our life. Right. Attack and it. Attack it. You have to attack it by force. Right. Attack it. The violent take it by force. Wow. Yep. So she had to attack it. And once she went after it, it saw that she wasn't playing with her. No, she wasn't playing with it no more. And that thing took off. And so I experienced both of those in the same day. That morning, God told me to not allow sin to... You know, rain in your mortal body. Rain over my mortal body, and then later that same day, he's he's giving me a video about a lady put you know driving out sin. Right. On driving out sin. So that wasn't a coincidence. That right. I, you know, right. Saw both of those at the same time. And then you know, this the message day. lined up with it. Wow. And then today, she was talking about sin and how you know we need to not allow sin in our life. 
we need to start, you know, driving out there. Because you don't want to experience the wrath of God, you know. And she experienced that. Wow. From, you know, continuing to be saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Confirmation. So, wow. It was confirmation. Thank God. <laughs> yes. That's how much he loves us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I, I know you love me enough to tell me all this. Right. <laughs> You care enough. The person they care, they wouldn't even warn you. That's right. That's right. Let the chips fall where they may. Sorry. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> right. Right. But he, he loved me enough to say, hey, you really got to make a decision. Right. Either we'll keep allowing this thing to take over your life. Because not only that is. Is not only that sin is uh, is I'm allowing it to rain over my body, but it's also giving it power to wreak havoc over my mind right. throughout my days. Right. With all kind of thoughts, because then you use those same sins that you're doing, it usually gets you and tell you, "Hey, you're doing this. That's mm-hmm. why you that you know." It's like it's, it's, it's willing you, it's telling you to come over and do these things, but also using it against you. Right. It does. It does. It's come on, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come closer. Come closer. Check this out. Check this out. Pay out in your exactly. face, like, yeah. sucker. And what they call the devil, he called, he's the accuser. Yeah. He's an accuser of the brethren. And he accuses us of the things that we do. Right. Yeah. You, you, after he suckers us in, in, then he accuses us. Yeah. Of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. That's. It's. It's. it's, it's yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, trust me, baby. Come, come on, baby. Come a little close. Let me put my arms around you. And doesn't that feel try. good? Pay out! There goes the knife right in the back. That's the uh, way the devil operates. And I'm, I'm learning now. And as long as I have to not only fight, but I have to also start reading my word and really being able to remember what I've read and memorize it. So when those attacks start coming. I can start resisting and also resisting with the word of God. Right. You know, speaking against those attacks. And right. Continue doing it daily into the point where, you know, the devil, he will flee from that. He will flee from me resisting. He's going right. to try a lot of different ways, but, you know, that's where you have to start calling with God and praying. Because, yep. you know, it's, it's not like he's expecting us to do it all on our own. But we have to go to him for strength and and, you know, power to do that, but also, we, you know, we still have to make the decision. It's only right. a decision away from deliverance. Exactly. It's a decision away from our, for our life of abundance, living a life of abundance. We're one decision away. Mm-hmm. Just like we're one decision away from a life of mediocrity. Yeah, there you go. Or pure D hell. Yep, that's right. Yeah. That's Ooh, right. It's like, it's the same thing. It just... It's just a different way. You 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 choose. You, you do you do what the enemy wants. You get what the enemy gives you. Hello. You do what God wants. You get what God gives you. In other words, you play, you pay. That, that's beautiful. my testimony. Yes, beautiful. Thank you, Rashad. I really appreciate that. <laughs>